complicate things. <laughs> like, oh. Hey, 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 take that. <laughs> Just... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. This is like golf. Excellent. Boy, <laughs> Bjorn! Looking clean. Got three roommates, okay. What's up, boys? Okay, never mind then. Yep. I don't. Yeah, I don't even know where I'm from. I suppose some introductions are in order. Well, let me get some apple. Damn. There's nothing like it in all of Britain, you know. About the only place that doesn't come with the risk of encountering a muggle. Oh, hello. She's awfully regal, isn't she? Is that you, Ralph? I don't know who she is. Likely one of the Hufflepuffs around here. Owls choose their own company anyway. Yo, Wait. choose me. You're the new fifth year. Yes, sir. Quite the dramatic entrance you made. Can't imagine wanting to call attention to yourself, especially since everyone will be watching to see how much you already know. I don't know shit. I'm not even gonna lie. Bruh. I am a bit concerned. I have a lot of catching up to do. Indeed. Four years of schoolwork is a bit... Being that far behind, I'd feel so... inadequate. Of course, presumably, as a hard-working Hufflepuff, You'll prove yourself in no time. For sure. I'm hardworking too, as you might suspect. No. But sometimes I think I should have been a Ravenclaw. <laughs> I'd rather a searing wit. <laughs> At least people have always told me so. I'm Lenora, by the way. Lenora Everly. Well, mustn't keep you. You've such a lot to do. I think you should have been. Nah. It was, it was nice, nice to meet meeting you. you, Lenora. Of course. Adieu. I've introduced yourself to Arthur. I. Arthur's got you. You don't need to be Someone. frightened, little cat. Uh, I can't quite. No one knows. Come on, he went that way. Hope they can catch him. Big castle for a student to get lost in, let alone a cat. <laughs> mm. I'm sure you'll find your way, all right. I mean, it can be a bit overwhelming at first. I still get lost sometimes. <laughs> Welcome okay, Arthur. To Hufflepuff, by the way. Really glad to have you in our house. I'm Arthur. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Was that your cat? No, one of the first years, I think. Don't have any pets of my own, unfortunately. My mother doesn't think too highly of them, especially magical ones. Yup. I'm sorry to hear Magical that. Beast, you already know, Phoenix. Incredible. Best thing about coming to Hogwarts. Nifflers, Glumbumbles, Bowtruckles. Huh? I thought they were only pictures in books before. Well, Dad did bring home a puff skein once. Oh, Mum was furious. <laughs> anyway, I better go make sure the first years caught that cat. Don't want them to be late on their first day. Oh, I need a book on these animals. Nice meeting you, Arthur. And good luck finding that cat. Thank you. Try not to get lost in the castle yourself. I had a light. What's this? Hmm. Oh, Uncle, this doesn't sound like you. Something's wrong. <gasps> oh, hello there. You're the new Hufflepuff, yes? Mm. I'm Adelaide. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Is everything all right? Oh, yeah. Yo, that's a ghost. I'm just a bit distracted. Ah, Letter from my uncle. So tell me. I've been hearing all sorts of rumours. Yo, Were you really cap? nearly gobbled up by a dragon? Yeah, it's facts that though. That one is true. We do Damn! Yo! Hang on! Where did you come from? <laughs> yo, hey, yo, my guy just died out of nowhere.
Oh shit. The key! The typical start to a new school. That's dreadful. Well, I'm glad you made it here alive. Well, anyway, I imagine you have lots to do. I hope you have a wonderful day. Oh, where's that cat, bro? Are you sure everything is all right with your uncle? Oh, yes. He travels for work, always busy. I'm sure he just wrote it in a rush. Um, nothing to worry about. Okay, well. Thank you, Adelaide. Be seeing you. Of course. And good luck. Yo. Is the new Hufflepuff out of bed yet? What? Professor Weasley's waiting for them outside the common room. Oh. Okay. <laughs> let's not do that. Alright, let's go. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. I am. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. I now, will. in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. I won't. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. Whoa. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. Ooh. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary okay. to ensure your success. <laughs> oh, sh whoa. Here you are. Fuck. What is it? Wait, what it the fuck just happened? Oh, no. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor. Hey! Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. I guess I will. Hey, what are you doing out there, though? This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and Yo, what educate the fuck? yourself about wizarding lore. Yo, that shit moves. I certainly would have appreciated something like a field Ooh. guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep Shit, up. I can't sprint. Oh, hey, my bad. Simply click oh, the video on Yo, it and we'll see what the guide says. Okay. Revelio. House Elf received book. Rumen to contain some of Helga Hufflepuff's original creations. This book holds a collection of Hogwarts students' favorite receipts over the centuries. Some dishes like pickled dirigible plums are likely an acquired taste Aye. okay like the field goat challenge okay clever isn't it keep your eyes open for more opportunities Ew, like yo that. what the fuck Inside did i just eat the castle ah I don't know what that means, but... Ah, good timing. Perfect what? opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Okay. Uh, 
And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Okay. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. Charms. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace Hogsmeade? the supplies you lost on the way here. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. So we're gonna be using... Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense against the dark arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Okay. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. Ooh. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require. Oh my god. Hogsmeade. Yeah, what's how it to spell? Also, I imagine enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Okay. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside Yo. of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your use of special earlier, treatment, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit, so... We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Oh, shit, you see it? Professor Fig, your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the meta, dragon's yeah, I think. path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it, I don't know. That it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And Thank remember you, to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Hogsmeade. Oh, that's a flying page. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking oh, about shit. exploring ruins? Nah. <laughs> ah, shit. She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. 
Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of Facts. witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Okay. I can't... I know. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, okay. focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Guest charm. Wait, am I going? No, I'm not even going the right way. Open the door! Yo, open. Bruh. What? What's up? Okay, nope. What's up? What? No one? Hey, kid. Another adventure, are we? Yo, what the fuck? Who says that? Is that you? Now let's go. good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time i get new students every year but i only have Dude, one she saved your ass skull. bro it was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878 no doubt you've heard of it now you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern wales no and i actually don't <laughs> Wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. 
A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, mm -hmm. especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Three, one, I. Let's go. Hey! Oh, this is. Come on, man! Oh, that's too easy. Ah, <sighs> too easy. Levioso. Oh, y'all see this? I'm a genius. Now, let's try something a little larger. <laughs> Gotta take the spotlight, of course. Let us begin with a basic cast. What's that? Oh. See how the dummy deflected your cast? Wow. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Now, Ooh. well done. You'll see that? Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Bro, I'm Duelist, a... <laughs> take your mark. Right, you ain't gonna Sorry get me like that guy. To welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Hey, if I lose, oh my days, I'm gonna delete the game. Levioso. This should be easy. Protego. Oh, God. Protego. That complicates things. <laughs> Lucky. Oh. Hey, 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 take that. That is how you cast Levioso. Oh, he's too weak. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. Oh, what? <laughs> Stupid. Well, you licked that floor, buddy. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Hufflepuff. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from For sure. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. Except for A that guy. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Mm. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Okay. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Hey, what's up? Class I'd hate to face Professor Hecket in a duel. A what? Ah, uh, in a way, I gotta talk to you him. You Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. But it was easy. Nice work. So where's the chest? If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. Where's the chest? Let me go, <laughs> Oops. Oh. Um. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Oh, now Spassi we want to Salo, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Um, no, it wasn't. That dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Facts. Facts. Huh. Facts. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Facts. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. 
If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Well, you say, uh, snake dueling club, or sneaking plan, into the restricted class, section know. of the library. You just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. Bye. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Some of us don't I need to catch up on my letter writing. I think we're out. Hey, another cat. Oh, yeah. Are you here for the boy who says you're telling I'm lies? I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert. Uh, uh. Alright, let me go to class. <laughs> Yo, where am I? Where my alpha buff at? Behind you. There is an open seat here. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <laughs> <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. Mm -hmm. But I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change no clue. and growth charms? Anyone? No clue. Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Yo! Mm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, mm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Uh, Y'all are fifth years? Hmm? No, that's crazy. Mm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Wait, what we do? Oh. Again, easy. Well, y'all gotta make this harder. Akio. Oh, that is not bad. Thank you, you are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. X. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Oh, see, genius. Very as well. good, everyone. Okay. That's enough of that. Well, as you Already? all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so... What better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> so why don't
startled we have our new student start us off. Hmm? Oh. Eh? Wow. Eh? 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 <laughs> okay, so Very I got... simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, Accio. think of this like Gob's excellent go Boy, if you don't... Wait, it's like the. That's it. Nah, that's that's bad. Yeah, what? Yo, yo, can I do that one over? Splendid. Yeah, that's a fifty. Yo, can I do that one over, Professor? Very good. Points to Hufflepuff. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? I say less. Yo, can I? Yo! Yes! Yo! Okay, shit. And yeah, let me start off. Yo, whoa, whoa! That thing goes way too fast. Bruh. Stay focused. Oh. Wait, what? You can even do that? Yeah, okay, I'm, I lost. I lost. I that lost. is how it's done. Hey, GG while playing. Yeah, that's an easy 50. Excellent. Here we go. Wow. There we go. Yeah. Akio. I could have won. Well done. <laughs> Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Hmm? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. Okay. This round settles it all. Oh, shit. Yes, uh, first one was warm up eyes. So less. Oh, it's medium. Yes. Medium. Akio. <laughs> ah, fuck it. Huh? No, I didn't. Very good. Watch this. Phew. Lucky. Mm. Like I said, first one was warm up. Brilliant. Let us see this. Nice try. I'm gonna take the double. Perfect score. A perfect score. Remarkable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, mm -hmm. I think I underestimated you. In Took words, me I'm weeks a genius. to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. 
That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Uh... Wait, is that the same thing? Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? No, it isn't. <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. Oh. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it. Now look the at that teacher looking so at us. I could hardly <laughs> make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone had oh, wanted to do this with their hands. But that's cool. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. Yo, I, want I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Yo, I want to do that with my hands. Huh? It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here oh, at Wagadu. Hogwarts. <laughs> I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. How do you Until know? Until next time. Oh, you can use Akio on humans, if you're so inclined. Well, you'd be using it on... After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Akio this, Akio that. Oh, that's Akio. flying every... Oh. Aww. Oh. Quite unsafe, really. Oh, what you doing? Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. Okay. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well... An outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. All right, all right. I'll be waiting for it. Oh. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? I am. Hello. You wanted to speak to me? Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. I <laughs> hope your first day's going well. Already you certainly famous. seem to hold your own in charms. <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Are you good, though? I'm just... I'm just that good. It's time to trade in my Oak Shark 79 for a new... Oh, trade. What are you up to now? One boy fell off his broom for a Yo, what? Oh, what? What's this? Rebellion! Okay, 
um, I'm coming, Weasley. I was there. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, excuse, Deke. Oh, whoa. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. Easy. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Mm-hmm. Isn't there? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details. Mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? Yep, that's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streela. Regardless, you well? must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Yo, chill. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign you the first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. I maximum damage, please. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Oh, that's... No clue. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. Okay. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor oh. Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. Hogsmeade. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help oh, you get your bearings. No. Don't let it be Sebastian. Sebastian or I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Natty. Yep. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor yeah. Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, Still need to go the to sooner the club you can enjoy a butterbeer at the three broomsticks.